I'm in a zero Ooh. gravity plane. But those are intense. It looks like I'm floating, but I'm actually free falling. The whole flight is split up into three phases. First, the plane pitches up to 50 degrees, speeding up steeply for 20 seconds along this path. And during this part, you feel squished to the ground, hypergravity, until the plane reaches this exact point, and then it dramatically slows down. Kind of like a reactor approaching criticality. During the climb, it's super critical increasing your net force, kind of like your neutron population growing, and at the top, it drops off. Equilibrium, or true criticality, is momentarily achieved. And basically throws you. And as you're falling Oops. along this arc, the plane is carefully keeping itself perfectly around you, and you feel weightless. This is actually better than something like skydiving, because you're encapsulated. You don't have to worry about air resistance. <laughs> It lasts for 22 seconds. The free falls kind of like the decay heat after shutdown. Because after all, the energy doesn't vanish. You still have decay heat because gravity does not go away during the free fall. You just don't feel anything. And when the plane hits this downward angle of 42 degrees exactly, they re-engage the engines to speed back up and catch you. Okay, now they don't actually stop the engines and it doesn't literally throw you, it just matches gravity's arc so perfectly. You feel smushed again. This plane does this 31 times. I would puke. But yeah, weightlessness in this plane is like a nuclear fuel pellet in free space. Still subject to gravity, but nothing's pushing back. 